The goal of Field Notes is to start exploring ingredients that are maybe a little bit often overlooked or underestimated and seeing what we can create with them that gives you a sense of place. With our first product, Don't Call Me Sweet Pea, we were really trying to put the Alberta terroir into a bottle. I want it to taste like you're walking through the prairies. And it smells like that and it tastes like that, which I love. And then when we made our second product, Jaya, Chai Liqueur, I wanted to tell a story of my heritage and being a South Asian Canadian People are really curious about other cultures. And you can tell that just by the amount of restaurants around here that are so different and diverse and getting more and more nuanced in the cultures that they represent. The most exciting thing about running a small business in Edmonton is everybody else you meet. I find that if you are willing to just tell people what you're working on, the first thing they're gonna do is say, oh, I know someone that can help you. And I always thought that that's just how people work, but I realize more and more that that's how people work here. It's our magical mix of the right size and then people just being curious about what everybody is up to. I learned a lot about export and trade. Logistically, Edmonton is a really great place to have a business, even if your customers aren't here. You can pretty much get anywhere from Edmonton, either by road, rail, or plane. What was really cool to see is the amount of people that use the cocktail culture in Edmonton as a creative platform and are building brands, not only for the restaurant that they're part of, but for themselves. It is like being a chef just with liquids instead of solids. I think people would be surprised to know that some of the finalists in the world's best bartender competition come from Canada, come from Edmonton. I think with business, no matter what you're in, it is hard. There are so many, you can read and listen to podcasts and everybody will tell you how difficult it is, but it's also, extremely fun and you just have to lean into the fun parts to make you resilient enough to get through the hard parts.